Uh, I am curious, so th this has just brought up the topic in my head, what's the craziest, annoying, or just wild request you've had as a photographer, like, as with customers? Customers can be crazy. I work in yes. a restaurant, they can be crazy. I'm curious, what's the craziest you've had as a, as a photographer? So many. I find that like... <laughs> so many? <laughs> That's the, the, the thing, the ah. main problem of, for like, the downside of working for events is that you're not really working necessarily for other creative people, so they have no idea of how long it takes uh, or like the process, you know. Well, yeah. when you work, for example, even on a film set that we were mm. doing, you're all with these other creative people. They have some similar knowledge to you. They understand the effort, the time you're putting in it or like, yeah. you know, the process. But like people that are out completely, you know, know nothing about creative industries. They just think they know what they want, which is good. But then they think they can maybe get it in like one hour because maybe they don't want to pay. Like they want something crazy, but then they actually want it in like, a little time because they don't want to pay too much for it or like and then you know and that can have uh, can be an issue so I think the main thing is communicating and then not saying because I've done this mistake in the past of like saying yeah I can do it but actually kind of no if, if they're asking you or even if at the start they're like talking about something and you already feel like mm, maybe that's not really achievable don't try to please them and like just yeah. be you know, honest, and like, look, this is what it will take for me, and this is what I need, and, but I think, one of, I think at the start, as well, it was, the, I did this, this, uh, children's birthday party, okay, but it was, um, I think it was more an excuse for the adults to have a massive party, it was, <laughs> it was, okay, so if it's a children's party, but there's an entire room set aside with a Tons so of alcohol. Yes. That might not be for the kids. I'm just saying. And it was uh, it was actually fun. It was an Indian family, so it was a right. Indian community party. Okay. And they really loved. And yeah, the party. Indian parties can be massive. <laughs> yes. We know that. And it was like a wedding for me, even though it was a children's birthday <laughs> party. But and it was really intense because it was a really long shift, and then it was one of my first as well. Mm. And uh, I still didn't upgrade to my camera so I was using one it wasn't you know as fast and good as the one okay. now and a few technical things and then and when I did all the uh, photos and and then like it just kept on going the apartment kept on going and then when I started editing like I gave in I, I probably put something like as final edited pictures like over 200 photos which is a lot okay yeah, yeah. okay and, and the editing, I mean, are we talking just the lights or are we talking like very minute? Yeah, like I obviously kept them more natural looking, but it was like adjusting the lights, cropping them and everything. I had taken more than a thousand, you know, from what event oh, definitely. God. And then I selected over 200 as, a, as final ones. And then, then like, oh, this is so little. They, they wanted something like 700. Uh, edited. edited. And I was like, it was a bit like, not even for a wedding, you know, when then actually recently I've done a, a proper wedding and I... 200 pictures is little. For a, for a children's birthday party, over 200 pictures. Like I, I, so I'm an actor, I do, I do headshots and you get eight, you know, wait, I mean, you get four or five yeah. and then you pay extra for eight, but that mm -hmm. just picking, I know picking eight pictures it's is beautiful. like... <sighs> and I think if you actually maybe work ask to a really professional photographers, they probably send even less, you know, yeah, or they charge hundred. much more for all these yeah. photos. And even when I did the wedding, I sent, I submitted 400 photos for the full wedding and it was, you know, a very big event and I was paid obviously very, uh, well, much better than for the kids' birthday party. Yeah, yeah, that's fair enough. And, you know, and, uh, and then for this, you know, other is... 200 than, pictures they was, for a they, fucking they, birthday party. And they thought, oh, this is so little, they wanted like, I don't know, 600, 700, 80, like final photos. And then, you know, like, that's bad. Like, no, that's not possible. And, you know, but at the time. I think, I think you're, you're Exactly. Not. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, now I would say, no way. And they wanted me to send the originals, which is like, no, no photographer send the original photos, you know, because you need to edit them. I and mean, they. Also, it's like no. a not finished work. And, you know, and like, I did a really big mistake because I was like, I just. Because I kept on receiving messages about, oh, can we have the photos? And I, was like, I just wanted to get this done and then I sent them everything. I just, okay. And that was a mistake, you know? 
but I learned it because that was one of my first experiences. Well, that was you, yeah. So that that's something that, you know, going forward, be like, I'm going to tell you about the number of pictures to expect, yeah. the time frame, and also don't expect all the pictures. And don't expect the unedited files, the originals, and, you know, set your boundaries at the start. Yeah, that's, again, that's... Yeah. Something you learn, like you, you go, you go and thinking, oh, you know, with all the good intentions and people know this and you find out that people don't know a lot of stuff. Definitely. And you know, but when you're starting as well, you, you don't want to, you know, you don't want to zap on people, you don't, you're, yeah. you yeah, yeah, you have that fear of like, what if I say no? Exactly. What's going to yeah. happen? Nothing's going to happen. You no. know, nothing's going to happen if you say no, the world moves on. There's so many other jobs. Exactly. And you know, especially with photography, like even when people ask you, Sometimes just I don't want to pay so little and it's like, it's also that knowing because sometimes I'm happy to do project like unpaid or paid with like or with a small budget if it's something that I really enjoy doing like a creative project with other young emerging artists so we all have a small budget and you know we do Yeah, it but like you get a resources. photographer for your kid's birthday party, no, it's, like it's different. pay some money, eh? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And I realize for example, some things I'm like, I'm not doing it for free, where other things I'm like, oh, yes, you know. I, just learning when it's worth it and when it's not. Fair when enough. it's when it's like a creative collaboration, and when it's exploitation, there is a difference. Yes, yes, absolutely, absolutely. 